Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to Dear Keith Honda in Grimsby. Thank you for joining us tonight for the unveiling of Honda's first all new model since the Honda E. A few quick introductions. My name's Jason, I'm the transaction manager here at Honda. The back of the room, you will be mingling around a bit later, is Angus Keith, one of the gentlemen that own the place. So we're in the presence of the MP of royalty today. Around the room, we've got Ben, Harry, Matthew, Frankie, and Ashley, and just there is the head of the business Hello. here at Grimsby, Mr. Aaron Carter. A little bit about d and we're a family run business, I'm sure most of you are uh, already aware at this point. Um, been in business for over 60 years and have um, a track record, shall I say, of customer service being at the forefront of everything that we do. Um, so, I think we should do what we've all been waiting for and unveil these cards. since the Honda E, which you'll see over in the corner. So it's a massive step forward for the brand um, and obviously looking to go further into the SUV market, which as we all know is, uh, is unbelievably popular at the moment. So this particular car sits right in the middle of the range between the HRV and the CRV in terms of size, which you will all get to experience later on. This model we have here in the middle is the advanced model. So it sits at the top of the range in terms of the ZRV, but as standard, these cars come incredibly well equipped, um, as Honda usually do. Um, the colour in particular is a, a personal favourite of mine. I've been fortunate enough to, uh, to use this car a couple of times, and it, it's always turning heads um, when, uh, when I'm driving down the road. So um, as you can see, as Jason said, we have the advanced in the middle, and then to each side we have the sport specification. So um, you'll be able to have a look and see the differences, see which is gonna suit you more. Um, they come incredibly well equipped from the factory, as you can well imagine. Um, the Advance in particular uh, is extremely high spec. So you've got the opening sunroof, full leather interior, and the Bose surround sound uh, premium audio system as well. As Honda always do, it does come with those creature comforts, so your, your automatic lights, your front and rear parking sensors, the things that as Honda customers and Honda drivers, we've all kind of got a little bit used to. Um, so it's nice to see that they've, they've kept that, that high standard. Um, again, as standard from the factory, all three models, so the Elegance, the Sport, which are two on either side, and the Advanced in the middle, have got the reversing camera, um, which just makes, makes life far, I think I use mine a little bit too much um, when, I'm, uh, when I'm driving. And of course, with uh, with Honda being a very family-oriented brand as well, you'll be pleased to know that each uh, each specification of the ZRV comes equipped with a full Honda Sensing package as well. So safety really is at the forefront. So enough airbags there to keep you safe in the event of anything does happen. You've got things like pedestrian alert, cross traffic alert. So all those creature comforts that you'll be well used to in your own cars, uh, being Honda drivers already, but just that next step up, just to make sure both yourself and anyone else on the road stay as safe as it's physically possible. These cars have also got the, what I like to refer to as the, the nice to haves. Um, the advanced model, in, well, the all three that we've got around us today, have got the electronic tailgate. The Honda brought back the, the kick plate so everyone can stand swinging their leg around trying to work out how to get the boot to open, but it's nice and easy on these ones. Um, with the walk away clothes function. So I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but anytime I go shopping, I try and pick up every single bag I possibly can, because I refuse to do more than one trip. Longer even thought of that. There's a little button on the boot, press that, pick up all your stuff, and as you walk away, it'll close behind you. So again, those, those nice to haves, um, as well as the endless amount of safety features that Honda provide on their cars. And uh, obviously power is important for everyone going to get down the road. So the ZRV comes equipped with the latest hybrid powertrain from Honda. So it's a two litre petrol engine coupled with the uh, incredible hybrid technology 
Um, so it produces 184 brake horsepower um, and over 300 newton meters of torque. So you've got plenty of power to get yourself down the road. But also, with it obviously being the hybrid powertrain, you've also got the efficiency that comes with that. So these cars are capable of achieving well over 50 to 60 miles per gallon as well. In a car of this size, you expect that sort of miles per gallon to be from uh, a diesel engine, but as we all know, um, as Max just said, Honda are now fully hybrid and electric. The good news about these, they are fully self-charging. So a lot of people, perhaps, um, at least in, in my experience, have the concerns around charging these charging electric vehicles. Not, nothing to worry about with these. All you need to do is treat like any other car, make sure there's fuel in it, and it will keep going. And to echo what Max just said for the miles per gallon, Max has been fortunate enough to have a couple of goes in this on the way to and from work, just to get a feel for the car, and comfortably achieve 55 miles per gallon, which is saving a fortune in the job. To help with that as well, Honda also put a lot of effort into the design of the car. So nothing that you can see on the car is by accident. Everything is there for a purpose. So Honda primarily are an engineering company that just happen to make really, really good cars as well. So everything on the car, from the body lines to the vents, uh, even to the design of the wing mirrors, are all designed to not only improve your comfort as customers, that's the most important thing, but also to keep those trips to the petrol station as, uh, in, as uh, infrequently as, as possible. No pressure. <laughs> All eyes are on you. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're sat in the car, you'll see in terms of space, the, these cars are, Super. although only slightly bigger than the current model HRV in terms of the physical height of the car, the amount of room that are in these things is, is fantastic. Ideal for people like yourself, sir, with young families, um, you know, not crashing the back of anything at all. Um, yeah, so those, those long journeys are mm -hmm. And it even comes down to something stupid like boot space. Everyone, you know, families, everyone has stuff to carry, everything, everything comes with stuff these days. So what they did was obviously the high voltage battery has to go somewhere for the, for the hybrid system, so that goes uh, like along the bottom of the car to help increase the boot space. And then what they actually do as well is move the fuel tank to underneath the passenger seat of the car. So that means you can get as much boot space as is physically possible in these cars. So everything on this car has been designed with space, comfort, and economy in mind. So it really is uh, you know, at the forefront of what Honda are able to offer these days. So I'm sure by now you're probably getting sick and tired of talking about voices. So um, please feel free to come have a look, ask us questions. Um, we are considered to be the experts, so if you have any questions at all, we'll do that stuff.